the last 30 years, we've been working on this problem of how to make things smaller. What are the limits? And people debate about this, and I think about it a lot. When will we reach a point where we can't make this thing reliably? And we haven't got there. I come into the factory and I go to pass down at 7 a.m. in the morning. You walk in and bam, you're in the fab and, okay, it's time to be an engineer for right now. Fab 11X is a 24-hour operation. It can be an intense environment, but everybody likes a good challenge. It's beyond comprehension how small these things are that we work with, that we can think about, you know, less than a nanometer line width control and do that repeatedly over and over and over again. If you think of a wafer as being a football field, then any one line in today's technology that we put down is about the width of a blade of grass. So in essence, we have an entire football field where every blade of grass is mown to the exact right height and points in the exact right direction. How can we herd few electrons to do what we want? That's manufacturing complexity. The people that we count on are the ones that are really thinking about the problem. So they say, okay, so you've got this defect on a wafer. What's the model for how it got there? And it's just fascinating to look at the different ones. I, I've even taken some home to my wife. Said, I got to fix this today. Isn't this cool? I mean, 400 of those would fit in the diameter of your hair. They, of course, get the very weird look at you. <laughs> just keep smiling. Nobody is really making the whole thing happen by themselves. Okay, there's a whole bunch of us trying to do our little piece. You kind of have to trust that that team is going to solve that problem, and this team is going to solve this problem, and it all comes together. We're standing on the shoulders of the people that went before us. People in the 50s and 60s and 70s set us on these courses. They hired people who worked hard and loved this sense of challenge, of doing things that hadn't been done before. The technology is, is just phenomenal. It's an achievement at a university level if they can do it once. It's truly amazing to me that we can crank out several thousand wafers a week. One wonders where the complexity of this whole thing is going to become its own Achilles heel. That's been around the corner for the last 20 years and we still haven't met it.